Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and this is the most rare Star Wars book ever. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the heart of the Jedi. The heart of the Jedi from Kenneth C. Flint. This is the most rare Star Wars novel ever because it was an unpublished novel. What do I mean by unpublished? Do I mean it's uh, fan fiction? No, it's not fan fiction. This was supposed to be a canonized book. Um, Kenneth Flint was sought out by the powers that be at uh, Lucas and story is that was handpicked by George Lucas himself to be the first author to write the first book in what would become the series that takes place after Return of the Jedi. So this book takes place right after the destruction of the second Death Star. And so Kenneth Flint uh, had never done a Star Wars book before, was contacted. He did all the research and began creating this lore uh, for this book, finished the book, and then, you know, you submit it to your publicist and, you, and then you wait. So he sat around and waited for forever to see what was to become of the book, you know, when it was going to get published and whatnot. But secretly, unknown to him, uh, the powers that be decided to go in a different direction and they uh, decided to release a different book and they didn't tell him. And so this book never saw the light of day. So it's become one of those underground things where it was supposed to be canon, right? It was supposed to be the first book in a series, but then never was. And so through people finding out about it and, you know, just its own myth mythos, um, people decided, hey, we got to publish this book and put it in the hands of Star Wars collectors because it's a piece of Star Wars history. And I say it's the most rare book because at one time you could buy this on Amazon. Now they didn't sell it for profit. Okay. That would, that would be illegal. <laughs> they didn't sell it for profit. They just sold it for, you know, a couple of bucks just to pay for the printing on it. So they didn't make any profit on it at all. Um, Amazon had it for a little while, then Amazon took it down, right? And then now the only place you can find this, I believe, is eBay. And I haven't seen a book on eBay for sale under $200. Like, it's a pretty expensive paperback. Um, the cover was recreated uh, to fall in line of what other covers of that day and age look like. It even has the uh, Bantam Spectra logo because it was supposed to be a Bantam Spectra book and even has, you know, a back design like it's supposed to. It's a huge book. It's a huge book. And uh, if you don't know, the book that was released instead of this was The Truce at Bakura from Kathy Tires. And uh, I have reviewed this book as well. But this book is officially in the, the Legends series or the Classic series as being the first book following uh, the destruction of the second Death Star. But... Who cares about any of that? Because you just want to know what the heart of the Jedi is about. Are you going to drop a couple hundred bucks to buy this book? Um, I was fortunate enough. Uh, my brother ended up getting this book for me because my brother loves me. <laughs> and my brother's a huge Star Wars fan, just like I am. And um, the book, like I said, takes place after the second Death Star. So the Empire officially is wiped out, although there's little pockets of Imperial activity, of course, and... Um, the rebels are trying to find all those little pockets. There's still a core, like, general bad guy uh, with the Empire. Luke is kind of wrestling now with being a Jedi and saying, like, well, how do I become a better Jedi? How can I, how can I improve myself since I don't have a master right now? And technically, you know, I've just, I've murdered a bunch of people. <laughs> like, so he's, he's really kind of angst-driven. And so he seeks out to find this heart of the Jedi, like this this core thing that will um, maybe give him some answers. But uh, the bad guy for the Empire, he's also looking for it. So you have these two chases, right? To who's going to reach it first? And the book is great. If you've ever read any of the other Legends books before, um, you know some of them can be... Uh, some of them can read just like a book, but you just happen to insert Star Wars characters. And you feel like, okay, you say Han Solo and you say Luke Skywalker, but that doesn't really sound like something Han would say, or this isn't something I think Luke would do. 
I think the author here really did his homework. When you read this book, you actually feel like these are the characters. The characters say the things you'd expect them to say. They do the things you'd expect them to do. And I think even when he was writing the book, I think he was hoping maybe one day it could become a movie. So it really does have action. There's a lot of action that takes place. It's not a bunch of you know, conversations in a room. So you always feel like the pacing is, is really good. I think the cutscenes between how you follow this character and how you follow this character was paced really well. I think the characters were fleshed out well. So all in all, uh, and if you're a fan of the classic books, if you're a fan of the legend books, I think you'll like this a lot. I think this is definitely one of the best uh, in those series. And it's, you know, it's a shame that this book didn't get published and, and, and didn't uh, see the light of day. But um, it's also well written, well written, easy to follow. And like I said, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, ultimately, of course, Luke finds the heart of the Jedi and it becomes one of those uh, moments where, you know, the, the hero finds the thing he's always looked for and then realizes that he didn't really need it in the first place. So I'm, <laughs> there's kind of that whole, uh, you know, lesson learned thing that I think, uh, classic science fiction kind of always had, you know, like episodes of Star Trek, like there was like this lesson that we all learned at the end. So you definitely feel like that early 90s writing style that, that we all kind of fell in love with. So that's the other cool thing is, you know, the book feels like one of those legend books because it was written during that same time. It's not, it wasn't written now trying to be an imposter for a past book. It really is uh, a past book. Plus, I would also offer that if you're a fan of the Star Wars universe, and you've seen a lot of the extra things like the Mandalorian, uh, Clone Wars, etc. When you read this book, it's going to feel very comfortable. It's going to feel like home. You're not going to feel like you're having to adopt into this new new universe that you you don't know about. Everything feels familiar and comfortable. In fact, you almost feel like some of the scenes that are in this book have callbacks to the previous uh, films, but then you also feel like this book inspired some of the stuff that we're watching now. So it's a really great piece of Star Wars history. And if you have the opportunity to pick it up, I would highly recommend it. So that's my review of The Heart of the Jedi, Kenneth Flint. Let me know down below if you've been fortunate enough to pick this up. Let us know what you think. Maybe, maybe you paid a couple hundred bucks for it and you're like, I don't even want to break the spine. I'm, I'm too scared. And I was like, I want to read the book. <laughs> I want to read it. I want to, I want to know what it's like. I think there are some places where you can read it online. I think you have to, I think there's some places that you can read it online, but, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. But if you know where those places are, um, put it down below for some people just in case, uh, that's an option for them. Would you, would you drop a couple hundred bucks on, uh, a book like this. Let us know what you think down below. Uh, now I got to figure out what book I have to read next. I, I got to figure out where in the series I am and pick up the next book. Uh, but we'll be, we'll be, we'll still do be do, doing the book reviews. This is something that I like. I know I got a little tangent off to the side building the X-Wing because that took a ton of time, but <laughs> I will, I promise I will get back to reading the books and doing the book reviews for you guys. Again, may the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.